What's up, everybody? Uh, I wanted to talk really quick about cutting down propellers, just like these right here. So this is a full-size five-inch propeller that is a cut-down five-inch propeller. You might ask, why would you do that? Um, there are Cine whoop style drones, so that's ducted, smaller drones that are built for carrying GoPros, such as the Shen, Shen Drone Squirt and the Shen Drone's Geyser. Um, and what you have to do to be able to fit the propeller into the ducts here um, is cut them down to the proper size. Um, now the smaller version, the Squirt, uh, that now has uh, propellers from various manufacturers that are specifically designed for that drone. Um, so you can actually just go out and buy a propeller for something like a Squirt. Now, this is the Geyser, it's slightly larger, uh, and at least to my knowledge, no one makes a geyser specific propeller yet. Um, so what do you gotta do? You gotta cut them down yourself. Uh, you kinda have a few options. Um, I think the most accurate way of cutting down a propeller is to make a jig, use a CNC machine, you know, remove the human element and cut them down. Um, now, I don't work in a machine shop. I don't have access to CNC. I don't have access to band saws or like any machinery that would help me do this easily. So what most people do is whoop, they use a Dremel tool. So something like this plugs into the wall. Focus, focus. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you use something like a diamond bit or I think this is like a tile bit or something weird. Um, but yeah, you just use one of those and then you buzz, 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 cut them off. So we have a few options when it comes to tools which you can use to jig those propellers. Um, the first is this. It's a small adapter. This is sold by Shen Drone, uh, Andy Shen. Um, great tool, works decently well. Um, I know he has a new updated model that's supposed to be a little better. Um, but pretty much what you do is this is sitting on top of the Dremel. Uh, you have the propeller here and let's pretend the bits coming out of that hole there. Uh, and you go buzz, 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 and cut them off. My problem with this tool, um, is so there's a little bit of slop just in that, that what's it called? The peg that's kind of holding it on. And also because this is 3d printed and made out of plastic, it flexes um, quite a bit actually. And just that difference in flex and pressure that you are applying to the blade as you're cutting it will change the size uh, and end up unbalancing the propeller in the end. So I kind of went on a mission um, because I have two identical geysers uh, and I was cutting propellers and it's really hard to get a matching set of four propellers that are all perfectly cut and balanced um, because I was having PID tuning issues and it was kind of doing these fast oscillations and these warbles uh, where it was like uh, so I couldn't tune it out I couldn't filter it out I was having trouble and I ended up measuring the propeller and one of the blades of the three I think on one of the propellers was like half a mil longer or shorter, um, which I think is what was causing those problems. So how do you cut the propeller as accurately as possible? That was my question. Um, so what I ended up doing was I went on to the Sydney Whoop Facebook group, uh, posed the question, Hey guys, I want to cut these propellers a little better. What should I do? Uh, and the best answer that I heard was from Todd Todd. Uh, and he said, go out and buy this tool right here. So this is a Dremel circle cutter. Um, and I believe it's used to, you peg it into the piece of wood and then you can, you know, cut a circle out of whatever you're cutting. Um, so we're using it in the opposite method, kind of. Uh, it comes with, uh, let me unscrew this little standoff that I have on here. But it comes with this peg. So there's a peg right there. 
and that's what you're supposed to use to like peg it into the wood and keep it in place right now what this is what i did i took a m3 mil uh die and actually ended up threading the peg to m3 size i put a couple washers underneath to space the standoff grab a standard round standoff just like that uh and the cool thing about a standard M3 standoff is the outside diameter is exactly five millimeters. So now we have a tool with pretty much zero slop right there. Like I can't feel it moving. That's just it kind of rotating. Uh, and also it's very accurate when it comes to you know where you want to slide it. There's markers on there so you can do different prop sizes um, and then you lock it down. Yeah, so and it's rigid, right? There's no flex, it's made out of metal. Um, this bit right here that just screws on just like that. Uh, and then you say, Hey, I want to make my propeller that big, and then you buzz, buzz, buzz. Um, I thought this was pretty neat. I wanted to share it with everybody because let's say you're also struggling with cutting your propellers as accurately as possible um, and you wanted to just kind of level up your prop cutting, bada boom. I think this is really the way to do it. This is the Dremel circle cutter tool uh, and then just a standoff shoved onto the peg. So. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I really don't have much else to say other than I really just, I, I believe that doing something right uh, the first time will make the whole process easier. So what I mean by that is if you're cutting the propellers well, then your tuning process will be much easier. Now, if you're not cutting the propellers well, if you're starting off on a bad foot, the whole rest of the process of flying that drone, tuning that drone, getting that drone to fly the way you want it to is going to be a lot more difficult. So, you know, get started right. I think this is definitely the way to do it. Uh, I just want to share that with you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll, uh, anytime I have any more tidbits, information, things that I discover like this, I will try to make a video. Um, once again, thank you, Todd Todd, for opening my eyes. Have a good one, everybody. Mm -hmm.